In 2013, Little Witch Academia was a Japanese animated short film created by Studio Trigger. And while it eventually received a 50-minute sequel film in 2015, it wasn't yet until the year 2017 that Little Witch Academia became a full-fledged TV series. Now, I think it's important to watch all of the animations to receive the best understanding of the franchise, but it's worth noting that the Little Witch Academia TV show isn't a sequel or a continuation of the short films. It actually takes place in its own canon while retaining the premise of the original. It has the same characters, and it's still about a little girl who decides to attend an all-girls magic school and ends up inheriting a magical artifact that previously belonged to the witch that inspired her. Unlike My Hero Academia, which also features an underdog protagonist in a school environment with an admiration for a personal hero, the protagonist of Little Witch Academia, named Akko Kagari, is often the source of ridicule in this school environment, because her hero isn't respected by the magical community, and Akko's adoration for Shiny Chariot leads to her classmates looking down on her. This has been present in the narrative from the very beginning, but what's different about the TV series is that on top of this, the protagonist also has no proficiency in magic whatsoever, which puts her at a disadvantage on an academic platform in addition to her disadvantage on a social platform. And this actually makes Akko a more interesting character. The TV series may not have the exact same events as the original, but it gives closure to the film's unanswered mysteries, improves upon the characters, and feels more complete as a result. In fact, it wasn't until I started watching the TV series that I realized what Little Witch Academia was actually about in a metaphorical sense. I began to notice how some characters have more of a natural talent for magic than for others, how the non-magical part of the world views magic as unnecessary, how there are traditional practices of magic as well as modern digital practices of magic, and how the tools that produce magic resemble pencils, ink pens, paintbrushes, or tablet styluses. Basically, in Little Witch Academia, magic represents art. And the academic environment that these characters inhabit is essentially an art school. Of course, it's obviously not an art college because the students are like children, which is what you would expect from a show named Little Witch Academia. But I have no doubt in my mind that Luna Nova Academy is somewhat based off of the experiences of the show's animators when they attended art school, and the premise of the show has been confirmed by the creators to draw inspiration from their own industry. According to keyframe animator Yo Yoshinari, Akko Kagari is based off of the idea of a young animator who is inspired by a lowbrow magical girl anime, and is mocked by their co-workers because of that. Someone who joined the industry out of sheer passion, but still needs to practice their technique for animation. This is further reinforced by the fact that the original short film was a product of the Young Animator Training Project, and thus, the message of Little Witch Academia is about the value of passion and confidence, as well as the value of hard work, with the specific subtext of the animation industry that can also apply to many art industries in general. The value of confidence, hard work, and guts are thematic messages that are also present in Gurren Lagann and Gunbuster, two of my favorite animated properties created by Studio Gainax, which is where many animators in Studio Trigger previously worked at, and in my eyes, the biggest spiritual successor to Gurren Lagann and Gunbuster is Little Witch Academia. 
because it continues the thematic messages of those two shows more so than their aesthetics. In some ways, it's actually kind of an improvement, because the value of confidence and hard work have more practical applications in both the context of magic and the subtext of the art industry, rather than the context of giant robots. And come to think of it, Little Witch Academia might actually treat their female characters better than in anything produced by Studio Gynax, or even in the rest of Studio Trigger's lineup. I mean, that's something that should be a low bar to begin with, but considering the history of Gynax, Trigger, and Japanese animation in general, it is a step in the right direction. Not only is the subtext of Little Witch Academia applicable to animators, it's applicable to any medium of artwork, and you don't have to be a girl studying magic to relate to the main characters. Akko telling everyone that her favorite witch is Shiny Chariot is like an animation student telling their art teacher that they want their project to be just like one of their Japanese animes, or like a film student saying that their favorite superhero movie is Spider-Man 3. Or like how I keep telling people that Speed Racer by the Wachowski siblings is actually a really good movie. Honestly, when I feel comfortable enough to open up and act like myself around other people, you will probably find that deep down, I'm the same kind of hot-headed, impulsive idiot as Akko Kagari from Little Witch Academia. Akko is me. I am exactly like the young animator that the character is based off of, except instead of a lowbrow magical girl anime, I get my inspiration from giant robot narratives. And now, Little Witch Academia itself, a TV series that coincidentally aired during the year that I graduated from college. Yes, sometimes the media that inspires you can be incredibly flawed, and aren't quite as good as you remember, but what's most important is that feeling of admiration itself, how it affected you and gave you the motivation to dream bigger. Much like how Gurren Lagon taught me to believe in myself, Shiny Chariot taught Akko Kagari that a believing heart is her true magic. When I watch Little Witch Academia, I don't just see a girl going to a magic academy to become a witch, I see a girl going to art school to become an animator. She's not just a magical witch, she's an artist.